my girlies who have oily skin and whose makeup creases 10 times faster because of it, this is for you. I've been loving pink powders lately and She Glam just came out with a pink powder duo. So we're gonna try this on a day's worth of oil on my skin because it's not looking cute. You can literally see your reflection in my face right now. So it comes with a pressed powder that apparently controls oil and then a loose powder that apparently fills in creases. And I need both right now, so let's put it to the test. The powder puff it comes with is so soft compared to my other one, so we're already off to a good start. First, I need to take care of my T-zone, so let's go in with this pressed powder. I'm literally going all in there. Oh, this is so brightening. Oh my God. I'm actually shook of what that just did to my face. I literally had to blend it out. Okay, let's try it on my oily chin. Tell me why all of my texture literally just vanished. Honestly, I'm happy with it like this, but I have to show you guys the loose powder now. Let's see how this is looking. Okay, yeah, it's more brightening than pink, I would say. Okay, now it's time to wipe it off. I really like that it still looks like skin. I was really scared it was a little cakey, but... I literally just look like a porcelain doll right now. I usually don't struggle with under eye creasing in general, but like you can't even see the line. Okay, apparently it's also waterproof, so I'm gonna potentially ruin my makeup just to show y'all. Are you kidding me? That's, that's my finger, by the way, it's not my face. I can't lie, She Glam did the thing. These are products that everyone loves, but I hate. Either because I don't think they're worth your money or they're not brown girl friendly. Let's start off with skincare because I've actually never talked about skincare I don't think is worth it before. I would like to know why every 16 year old on this app owns Glow Recipe. This is a perfect example, in my opinion, of a skincare brand where you're paying for the packaging rather than the formula of the actual product. These nice and my dew drops, they barely have done anything to my skin other than add extra hydration. And the Ordinary's New Berry Serum and Coco Kynes Berry Serum are pretty affordable and kind of feel the same way. Genuinely don't understand why anyone wants to spend a hundred dollars on a freaking moisturizer. I talked about the Charlotte Tilbury products before, like this does the job, but why are you paying a hundred dollars for just a normal moisturizer? It's not magic, darling. <laughs> Next we have Drunk Elephant. In my opinion, these bronzing drops are a little bit patchy and they don't really do anything for the skin. There's just a lot better products out there. I also think it needs one more shade. Instead, the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion and the Say Beauty Super glowy gel do the same thing let me know if i should make this a series okay guys we're checking up on the pimple if you guys recall this morning i had a big ass pimple so i put this on top so we're gonna see if it worked i really hope i can get it to peel like this all right let's zoom in here so it's been a while since this morning so my makeup's definitely broken up my skin is very dry it's literally disgusting <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see but there is a like circular ring around where i put the blemish defect or whatever it's called defeater i want to see if i can like i got kind of like a little bit in this corner oh my god it's starting to peel here i can't get it off in like one i want it to come off in like one piece you know what i mean like super satisfying i don't know if it's because my skin is like super dry but let's keep trying oh my god oh my god girly Okay, I'm using different tweezers. I know this is not hygienic, but like, I'm doing this for you guys. Okay, I got most of it off. Honestly, I don't really think it made my pimple go down. And I'm just really sad that I couldn't get it off in one piece. I want it to be satisfying. Ugh. Like, I don't know what I did wrong. I'm just gonna have to try again next time. Anyway, bye. All right, I'm having a girl's night out and I have about five minutes before my two-year-old, my six-month-old, or my husband finds me. So I'm gonna do this quick viral blowout thing. I have three kids, um, two babies and a husband, and I rarely get time to myself. If this actually works, this will be amazing, but I'm also a little worried because I have a lot of layers. So, let's see. Oh. I hear footsteps. I'm a little nervous about this because look at that. I'm gonna try putting some mousse in there. Don't know what it's gonna do, but we'll just try. Maybe make it. Also, don't judge me. I got three kids, remember that. Don't judge me. I don't own rollers, so I don't know if this is gonna be right. Oh my God, okay, hold on. Oh, this isn't looking too good, oh no. I think you need the curlers for this. Maybe just this thing that's throwing me off. Let's see. Oh no. 
All right, so um, let's do this together. Let's see. All right, I'm not judging just yet. Okay, ready? Two, three, four. Okay, I get so dizzy. Oh. 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 Um, I mean, I knew this is going to turn out this good. Like that took me four minutes, four minutes. Okay. Let me get dressed first and put a little bit of makeup on. Hold on. Trust the process. I hear. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, can you see who found me? <laughs> I spoke too soon. Who found me? I was only gone for five minutes. Did you miss me? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Does mommy's hair look pretty? Oh, you're gonna mess it up. Thanks. Does glow recipe actually work? Is a question I get asked in my comment section every single day. I'm gonna break it down really simple for you. Let's start with the toner. Keep in mind, this brand is called Glow Recipe, which emphasizes glowy skin. Personally, I love the toner. I use it almost every single day because I love the glow that it gives underneath my skincare and my makeup. I tried taking a break from the Glow Recipe toner to see if it actually did anything for my skin a couple months back, and without using the toner, my skin was not nearly as glowy or as hydrated. Now, they call it a pore tight toner. Personally, I haven't noticed any difference in like the size of my pores. I solely use this toner because I love the way it feels and I just love the glow that it gives my skin every single day. The more consistent you are with it, the better your results. The salicylic acid serum. This is my first treatment that I've ever tried from Glow Recipe. I've really only ever used their toner and their moisturizer. I've never used something that's specifically meant to target acne and dark spots. So you guys can see I do have acne scarring mainly on my cheeks. I've been using this product for about a week and a half now and I haven't noticed any crazy results. I did start using it on my period and I did notice it mellowed out my acne and my redness a little bit. I had a few really bad pimples on my cheeks and I used this as like a spot treatment directly on them at night and it helped them go down a little bit but it wasn't anything drastic. But again, the product does give an amazing glow. The Pore Smooth Blur Drops. Honestly, anything that says it minimizes Anything that says it minimizes the appearance of pores, I never find actually works for me. But let's do a side-by-side -side comparison for you. Okay, we turn the beauty filter off, and I'm going to put this where my pores are the largest, which is right up here by my nose. I've been told you can use this one kind of like a primer. So this side has the blur drops, and this side doesn't. Honestly, I feel like I can see my pores better on this side than I can on the side without the drops. The only difference is that this side under my eyes is a lot glowier because I just put product on it. These are no from me, I don't see any difference at all. The Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. This is a moisturizer, and so most moisturizers tend to do their job pretty well. So this is just gonna show you guys exactly how good this moisturizer really is. If you guys don't know, this is my favorite moisturizer of all time. I have severely dry, dehydrated skin, and this is the only moisturizer that has been able to keep me hydrated throughout the entire day. Plus, I am a sucker for glowy skin, and this is the secret ingredient. I have a lot of moisturizers that leave a white cast, but I love that this cream is almost water-based and just very light and moisturizing. It just feels so amazing on the skin, and once you try it, you will never go back. Look at the glow the moisturizer gives. I'm going to keep trying this out like acid serum because I don't want to say that it just doesn't work at all just yet. It takes skincare a couple weeks to actually start seeing results. But if glowy skin is what you want, Glow Recipe, I feel like, is one of the best places to get that. Especially this moisturizer because I will never shut up about it until the day I die. Love ya. Hello. I'm going to show you how I do the bun really, really quickly because I'm going out for dinner, but I'm going to put my hair back. Right, weird angle of a hotel, okay? But you just go to that, you get the hair. You twist it, you take it up, you take it down, and then you flip it like that. See what I did? Flip it, and you bring that hair back up and down, and it makes like a twist. You see? And then you go back underneath with it, and you can see from the front, you're just left with those spiky bits. I just fan them out to where I want them, and then you can put your bobble in, but over the spikes spikes to where I want them, fan them out a bit and then I hairspray them. 
gonna think that all my baby hairs up. One more time for the people that are confused. Twist. Up. Down. And then flip it. Take it up again and down and it creates a twist. Yeah. Twist it again. Bring it up. And you get the spikes. Fan the spikes out to your liking and put a bubble in them. Yeah. Hope this helped guys. Bye.